Welcome back everybody, Maxwell here bringing you another episode of Victoria 2 Pop to Mama playing as the Heavenly Kingdom. So we're going to go to war with Imperial Japan when the war justification comes back in 62 days. I am going to start moving my guys together, clumping them as you would. Uh, down to here. You four clump here and you five clump here. Now this is five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, so 220 units around, so 10 times the amount that Japan has. Now the hope is, I win, <laughs> as it always is. Alright, let's just continue. Do, 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 yeah, they keep getting cores and all that stuff, but it should be fine. Actually, I have an actual rebellion right now? Well, that's new. Why do I have an actual rebel? Yeah, what? It's 0. .3 average militancy here. Wow. That was, uh... Weird. I don't understand how that could go off that. Oops. Ah. Keep pressing A because that's what it is in, uh... E4. Down to 91.7 there. Crush them, then get back on the boat. Alright, we can now declare war on these guys. So, Japan, declare war. Are you guys 83, 100%, 66%? I probably should just go with these guys. Tohoku. Or I could just go with this. I'm probably going to go with this, then this, then this, then that. Of course, because I can't get Kanto until the end. So let's go with this. Call my allies. Yeah, sure. We have four prestige if I win. That's an amazing, ridiculous amount, people. I'm obviously over exaggerating with that. Um, increase speed. Now, do I want to do. I need to send some diplomats out. They improve some handshaking abilities. How about you, Germany? You're at 91%. You would not do that because it's insufficient, right? Because you need at least 100. But you won't also accept an alliance because I is uncivilized. I don't know not how to count. I can't count. It's impossible for me. With me, uh, my brain the size of a cucumber. Um, where's the rest of this army? Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Let's move the rest of you up there. Alright, everybody else is moving to Nagoya. Uh, yeah, where the heck's your army? I mean, there's this army, but are they, like, hiding over here? Alright, I can leave behind one guy, and you're going to Tokyo. Let's move to Tokyo as well. Are these guys counted as your army? Because that's not an army, that's a glitch. <laughs> so you there, you there. I need to look out for Sendai in case they are hiding there. Which they are not. It kind of actually does seem like these guys are counted, even though they shouldn't be. Wow, this is going to be a very easy war. Much more easy than the last. Whoa, okay, never mind. I think I found them all. Yeah, I did. I won this battle. All of you guys, you are going to Urawa. So follow them. You guys join in. What? Wait, what the hell just happened? I lost a battle where? Tokyo? They don't have... Seriously? Wow. Okay. That's super surprising, actually. The heck happened? Are you going back to Tokyo? Yes, you are. Send all of you there. Did I not say everybody moved to Tokyo? God, it's because I'm not clicking correctly, apparently. Belgium, Heavenly Kingdom, secret police to the rescue. And losing money again. How's this going? It's always in the way. 
Alright, I'm definitely have more units. Ooh, 12,000 straight here. Fantastic. I lost an army. All of you selected, you guys are going to Chiba. So you go to Chiba as well. Oh, I won. I did? Apparently I did. Actually, you go there now. Follow up. Apparently one of you guys is way quicker than the rest. Move you there. Are they mobilizing on top of me? Is that, what's, is that exactly what's happening? Because that seems like what's happening. And that's why I lost an entire army to, uh, well, just stupidity is the best way I can describe it. Really? I lost more men than they did? That's impressive. Alright, you guys go down there. One this. Goya. One this. Go down to Mito. Took this. Go back there. Am I going to lose this battle? Jesus, I might actually lose this battle. Crush this guy. Go back here. Yeah, I completely outnumber them. I should easily win these ones, but apparently it's not that the case. And granted, they are civilized and I'm uncivilized. I'm uncultured swine, if you will. Uh, you're gonna join these guys, because there seems to be some major issues with me not being able to crush these guys. Up, up, up. You guys are forming up. We have a hundred and something thousands. This fell. Can I not? Oh, sorry. This is they're attacking. Whoops. Oh my god, we finally beat them. Now you guys go there. You're going there, you're going there. 128,000, you attack him. Frickin' white piece? You kidding me, Japan? It's 56% in my favor. Why would I ever do white piece? You must be uh, smoking some really good stuff if you believe that I should do that. Hey, timber production throughput. Oh, that's actually gonna like really improve my output, right? Uh, top exported are tea, silk, and lead. Oh, it's not timber. What am I at timber? Why is timber here? I'm not- oh, I am on fifth. 803. Not in high demand, though. Alright, crush that army. You're going to there. And I'm gonna move you guys back. No point in you guys staying here while we're at war because we're pretty much sieged them all down. Boom. Alright, you're all filled out. Go there, go there, and you go to Na Nagoya. Yeah, Nagoya, that's fine. They always want to give me a white piece. You're not going to win. Alright, crush their army. Let's leave on you there. You go there. You go there. I think this sounds good. Alright, to Tokyo. Alright, I need to wait till my guys start moving through here. I can't move yet. I think I can do now. Uh, let's just wait for this. Proceed. Alright, we acquired it. Beautiful, now they're down to three. 
and I can declare war again on uh, five years from now. Exactly. Perfect. Now, uh, you guys. One's there. Oh, sorry. Two guys. Nagoya. Which one was the one? It was no yeah, sorry. Nagano. And again, it was like that. Alright, perfect. We have more money problems again. UK. Ugh, I hate this. No idea issue. Seriously, we're out of this war. We should not be having any problems. It is mine. Do I even have any? Oh yeah, I do. Ah, it's, there's no Sean Liberation movement, so it's fine. I have what? Wow, I cannot deal with uh, money, it seems, in this nation. Officer insulted. All pops gained well. Or this. Run got what he deserved, I guess. Consciousness is better. Uh, Jahor, you still in the thumb? Yeah, you're still under them. You're under them. All you guys are doing is working my feelings. Are you civilized yet? No, you're not. Am I partially westernized? Yeah, I'm partially westernized. I'm ahead of these guys, too, in that aspect. If I take these two back, then they have these two left over. I don't think if I take these two back, I don't think I'll be able to take all of that in one go. Oh, UK. Caused me lots of problems in this area. Oh, I could attack I could attack the Sikh Empire, but they are secondary power. They're a secondary power? Oh my god. I did not expect the Sikh Empire to be secondary power. Oh, and the UK's friendly with them. How about here? Cordial, nobody's friendly. Eh. I don't really want to push that way until I've, you know, consolidated all this area. And become civilized. I was looking over here. Yeah, pretty much what I would have thought. Or Germany, is Germany going to push for this? Yeah, Germany's pushing for Sakota. I don't know if they're going to take all of it or just a piece. Because I do know you completely annex them now after you take one province. Netherlands took that and that. You need to wait to 1900, I believe, till this stuff. We only have, uh, what, 50 years left in this game? Okay, why do you always want to sell me opium? Now there's Germany. Form alliance will not accept because uncivilized. What? So once it becomes civilized, I'll be able to uh, ally with Germany. Cool. I very much appreciate that, Germany. Da -da -da, nobody. Nope. Alright, so we lost one army in this battle with Japan. And Korea needs to like leave instead of causing me attrition, I believe. Yeah, Japan no Japan has zero now. So well, those aren't counted, or they are counted during war. Not quite certain. Which one should I take next? Probably Kansai. Rather than this one. Get some precious metals, sugar tea. And I'll connect this area so I can walk between them. Takes a very long time, it seems, to uh, reinforce this stuff. 100 days of reform. Our defeat in the last. Well, defeat. In the last words left us with a clear realization that certain things within our country needed to adapt to realizations of the new world, and a quick campaign of reform could bring us up to speed. Wow. Yeah. All bureaucrats, all farmers, yeah, that's easily because we have Prince of Terror and Isolationism. Definitely get this. And that's what? Almost half a year's worth, instantly. How are we on this, by the way? Okay, we're getting there. So the next one is this, and then this. We're done. Yeah, I definitely want this stuff. We may have war with the UK a lot. It kinda sucks. Alright, let's improve this again. Seems like money, money, money. Problems, problems, problems. <sighs> yeah, Russia. Apparently we're having some problems too. I'm trying to try at least keep them up by a hundred. Fight against progress. No, ignore. They can do no harm. 
I mean, we're going to become a civilized nation. Even if you come down kicking and screaming. We're almost goddamn there. If something happens in between that stops it from happening, ooh, I'll be mad. Whoa, when did this happen? Did I not get a, uh, a thing for this? Damn it, the ha Huang He versus Banks once more. The, most, the enormous Huang He River has flooded yet again. All pops have changed, but minus 20% along these three places. Major flooding, immigration push, pop militancy, oof. It's okay though. Money overall is fine still. Oh, increased speed. Why do I have an increased speed? Afghanistan? Sure. What's your problem? You're at war with the UK. I assume this is to... Puppet. A sin becomes a puppet. UK is very aggressive. Very, very aggressive. How did I not notice this? Oh, and these guys are also done. I don't notice these things either. West Henan. Major flood damage. That so sucks. It's like a huge number of people died from that. Uh, Western Henan. So Eastern Henan. Yep, yeah, I go with that. Clergyman here, and clergyman down here. <laughs> Alright, that stuff's good. Wonderful! Crop rotation. Crush the, uh, very tiny rebel army over there. And then we're gonna take that back. Surprise! The average mountain sea is ridiculously small. Huh. And won that back. Alright, now move back there. When was it? 80... 91. Okay. I believe we might actually be civilized within the next 10 years. Army construction? I am. That does now mean we can build forts everywhere. That's a lot of money. Ooh, that's a lot of money. But I think it's worth it. I say that, but I'm not entirely certain it is worth it, but I shall do it anyway. I can't do that there. Oh, you've already upgraded. Go forts! What we also need to do is build hussars. A huge number of hussars. Seems like some of you have random one level forts around. If you all have a cement and, uh, Artillery deficit, though. Bum, bum, bum. You, you, you. Oh, right, I don't have that anymore. Take that, and that, and that. Oh, I still want all of Southeast Asia for myself. It just so looks like it, does, it needs to be within the Heavenly Kingdom. I mean, the Heavenly Kingdom deserves it. We fought through so much pain and suffering to even become a nation from the dreaded King Empire. Or the Kin. King. Yeah, the King. So we definitely deserve it. Um, you guys are all level 1s at least, right? Nope, not you guys. And I don't think you are either. You are not. But, what we also need to do is build a huge amount of facades. Oh wow, we have a huge number of them. Uh, I believe only 76 is needed. I doubt we have more than that in armies. <laughs> and there'll be leftovers for a lot of stuff. Because we're only going to put one Hussar per army. Three artillery, one engineer, and... I hate you so much. Why well, you gotta be like this, UK? You keep pushing for the opium and causing relations between us to deteriorate deteriorate until the point where we're definitely going to be at war and I want to wait until we're civilized to do that. Like at 1910, I believe I'm going to crush you. I'm going to do so much damn damage. Take all of your damn land over here in India. All the land. Ooh, oil was found in Siam. That's another reason why I wanted to take this land first, because it's oil heavy. Although I can't do it. I can't do anything with oil. Doesn't mean that's not a good place to take stuff. 
And having it as a state rather than a uh, protector, it means I can build uh, uh, factories there when I can. Uh, excuse me for one second. Sorry about that. Uh, quick thing, let's imprison this guy. And hopefully we keep increasing our influx of money, which doesn't seem to be the case. Because I want to, at some point, get this back up to 100%. I do definitely believe I'm going to have to pass these commerce ones, tax efficiency ones, to actually get the money flowing. But I want idealism, definitely, because research points. Probably another national, max national. My god, culture is so important, but minus 10% here. 4,000. Ugh. I don't know how long it's gonna take. It's 400 days, a little over a year for that. We're definitely not going to be able to uh, finish all the technologies with Heavenly Kingdom. We're so uncivilized for so long, it was pretty much an impossible dream. Boom, boom, boom. Ba -da -da, four years though until we can do that. Portugal is down here. British Australia, they haven't released any of those. Have you released Canada? You have, except for this area. Empire of Brazil, you're definitely not doing as well as I did in the last game. <laughs> Although I had a huge amount of uh, problems throughout that game. Money problems, which we seem to be having in every game recently. You're also very close to 2%, so I should work on switching you soon. I can also do another gesture to find, which I have no need for. Alright, money is okay. Let's increase relations with you, because I don't want you to be at war with me. I also want to take back this place from uh, Portugal. Macau? Yeah, Macau. A lot of Portuguese here. How is the, uh... I have... Nafaran, Baifara... Bifren and Hakka. How's that looking population wise? 43.8, and 2%. Okay, we're definitely still a decent amount. 80% plus. Japanese is at 4%. I think we're definitely good, yeah. I, the choice of switching to the Heavenly Kingdom, other than the fact that I had so much revolt risk anyway to begin with, as the king when I made the decision, the fact that instead of 2% being the core culture, that I now have 80% just makes it so much easier. Uh, I Oh. Hello. What is this? German liberation of British Schleswig. Okay. Um, okay then. Russian Empire, Banat, and Germany versus oh so much, pretty much India. Actually, I can just yeah, they can have access. Uh, so these guys, all of these. I mean, in Europe, it's definitely going to be Germany and Russia. But if they get any access to push these all these huge number of units, if we were looking at when I was playing Russia, India is just so populated that you just throw units at you. It's like 300, 400 thousand units that they just throw at you. It's so difficult to contend with. Um, I don't know. I think it should be Germany's way. The UK can land units directly from there, but they very rarely actually use their navy to move units around. It's very, very silly. 5.2% uh, literacy, by the way. Uh, in the meantime, though, this does give me ability to make these guys not hate me as much. Which is very important. Let's move both of you. And... You. And you. Bam! Canada? Canada. So it was beginning of 91 or end of 91? It was middle of 91, right? Yeah. 27th July of 91. The amount of people I have here, though, is ridiculously too many. <laughs> I have 18, 18 brigades, though. But these five can even... At uh, least six are going to take over all of this. 
I just need to group up these guys, crush that, group up these guys, go into here. Should be real, relatively quick forward. Uh, crises averted. France, that's no, because three of the great powers are in war. The Spain, uh, no, not even secondary power to Spain. I definitely want uh, the Philippines though. All them lands. How close are we with this? Very close. Cholera spreads. Oh no, not good. Not the cholera. Remember to keep your to hydrate yourself and keep including electrolytes into your systems. Sugar and salt in the water, and keep drinking even if you throw up. But no, that's seriously what you're supposed to do when you get cholera. You like, I think it's like you diarrhea two times your weight. It's a ridiculous amount of fluids and uh, solids that you just let out. So you need to keep like rehydrating yourself. Alright, I think I'm going to end the episode here. We're going to be at war with Japan again, but I believe we're going to be at war as a civilized nation. And we're going to skyrocket through as we first take idealism so we can, you know, get this stuff. Then industry and commerce, we're just going to push as much as we can through. Yep, I think it's the best way. As the West King, we have capitalists can open and build factories. But I need to actually have some capitalists in the system in this uh, empire first. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you in the next one where we continue to civilize. Alright, well, ah bye bye.